and that we are not aware. We are not aware of any fake Adidas. Blow to Joy Riders in the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports as President Ruto orders CS Ababu Namwamba to suspend funding for international sports events. Before we get down to nitty-gritties on why Ruto wants Ababu's budget cut down, do you remember when Ruto's point woman, horrible Gladys Shule, accused the latter of mismanaging his ministry? I'm talking about the State Department of Youth Affairs and Sports. The, the, the Cabinet Secretary, I have searched for days on end for the Talenta app, which was launched by the Head of State on the 9th of June. No, yes, 9th, on 9th of June. It is here. Again, there is no app that exists. What the According to Shule, Namomba neglected sportsmen and women representing the country in international events. Rogue ministry officials, Shule says, have taken the space supposed to be reserved for athletes while CS Ababu Namwamba remained unbothered. How about Samson Tiradge's revelations on 21st August, the year 2023? He alleged that sports ministry officials traveled with girlfriends at the expense of the nation's top sports representatives. And I quote from his statement, I echo the sentiments of Honorable Ishumwa, Majority Leader, National Assembly, that CS Ababu continues to mismanage into oblivion our beloved sport. How can ministry officials fly first class with their girlfriends to the Olympics in Budapest? Hungary at the expense of our athletes. End of quote. On 24th August, the year 2023, while appearing before the National Assembly, CS Ababu Namwamba refuted claims that he is mismanaging his docket, adding that he is not ready to step down. This begs a question as to what could have informed President Ruto's mind to cut down Ababu's budget. Now, in a letter, the ministry explained that the directive is in line with an order from President William Ruto to cut down on expenditure. According to the ministry, priority will only be given to teams with a high probability of qualifying for notable competitions, including the Paris 2024 Olympics stroke Paralympics, World Championships, and African Games 2023. The ministry will also consider sportsmen and women participating in the East African Community Games 2023, Sekafa 2023, Chan 2025, and Afcon 2027, respectively. The ministry urged sports federations to seek financial support from corporate sponsors and the partners in the absence of government funding. All government ministries and agencies were directed to cut down on non-priority expenditure on October 3rd by President William Ruto. Ruto ordered the ministries to cut the budget by 10% following a cabinet meeting that resulted to reduce the financial burden on Kenyans. The president emphasized the need for the government to exercise prudence in resource utilization, adding that wastage and corruption will not be tolerated. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Sport has been on the spot lately for misusing funds meant for athletes. Cabinet Secretary Momba was accused of including joy riders in international sports trips while underfunding sports events in the country. Further, he was accused of purchasing fake kids, which was cited as a reason for poor performance by Kenyan athletes. What do you think about this latest development in Kenya? Do you think President William Samuel Ruto is right to cut down Ababu Namwamba's budget? I'm talking about the budget that is meant for the State Department for Youth affairs, and also sports in the country. My name is John Odero, and this is Bahari News, Kenya.